Hello, everyone. Trust you well. You're welcome again to Leadership Talk with Adeguke, episode 99. Yes, episode 99. Today, we're looking at leadership and confidence. Uh, confidence is so important for every leader, uh, particularly uh, in these times that we're in. Very volatile, uncertain, competitive, and ambiguous times. But I would like to say it's a time that every need leader and also needs a vision to have understanding, clarity, and also be agile. Now, um, so what is um, competence? Uh, sorry, confidence. You know, when we're looking at leadership and confidence, uh, confidence can be defined as um, a feeling of self assurance arising from one's appreciation of your own abilities self-awareness it comes from a place of self-awareness and so um, for leaders um, every one of us we have to be self-aware uh, because you can lead to self-sabotage if you're not confident in yourself and you're looking for that validation from others uh, I remember back in the day when I started off I was always waiting for others to cheer me on uh, but um, realize that you know um, I have what it takes to show up to show up continually and to add value locally and globally and so this is the um, 99 podcast of leadership talk that we okay and we're looking at leadership and confidence uh, so what is leadership uh, leadership is defined as uh, the action of leading a group of people uh, or organization you know uh, John C. Maxwell will say that leadership is influence. And so um, people can see through you if you are confident uh, or not. And, you know, if you're not confident as a leader, uh, it also opens up those gaps. Um, so confidence is essential for effective leadership. Yes, confidence is <laughs> essential for effective leadership. And uh, leaders must have confidence in themselves first. You can't take people to where you have not been you know so you have to have that confidence in yourself and uh, that confidence is what helps you to to make the right decisions and confident leaders are more likely to take risks um, also to be able to drive momentum and to bring about change um, make bold decisions um, so are you confident in yourself are you aware of the skills that you have others to encourage you uh, this is the time to show up and obviously uh, confidence also uh, comes from the area of uh, you know building your competence you know as you build up your skills it gives you more confidence to show up and to also uh, provide that leadership um, that's why you know when we look at the five levels of leadership positional leadership permission leadership by permission leadership by production leadership Pinnacle, uh, what helps you to move from a positional leader to a leader that has the permission to lead is your confidence and it helps you to now become a leader that produces, uh, you have the ability to produce yourself and also to empower others, you know, and to equip others and to provide the necessary inspiration on a daily basis. Uh, so, um, there are uh, certain KPIs you know, for every leader you know to um, have that, that is required for every leader to have um, but you know confidence is is, is top is top um, people are looking for confident leaders because you know uh, as the world is right now um, with the things happening all over the place the confidence people are at a low help you know there's some level of frustration you know you trust that they have in government is not really there so they, they're looking for uh, those that will provide the necessary tools uh, for them you know to get by on a daily basis uh, so if you, uh, you you have that confidence you know from a position of self-awareness it helps you to provide the necessary support and also the, provide the necessary uh, leadership now a lack of confidence uh, can be detrimental to a leader's um, effectiveness you know, if you lack confidence can really be detrimental in so many ways um, 
and this can this can lead to leaders feeling very uncertain and you know uh, it can slow down uh, innovation and also creativity in the place where there is confidence you see that everyone is willing to go above and beyond and also for a leader like i said if you have that self-awareness from a place of knowledge and from a place of clarity of your vision even in 2023 I mean, there's certain things that you do on a consistent basis that shows that you are confident. Uh, when you learn something new, learn something new, learn a little, do a little, you know, and that's the way to show up. Uh, and it boosts your confidence because when you look at it, consistency compounds, um, get into circles where, you know, uh, you can collaborate, get into circles where you can validate others, and model leadership, equip others, uh, get into challenging situations that you can solve problems and it, it, you know, it boosts your confidence in going forward. Um, so I'm just here to uh, show up uh, as usual uh, to encourage somebody out there and it's not the time to drop the ball uh, just continue to remain confident. There are a lot of opportunities out there even in this 2023 uh, no matter how challenging it may seem um, it's important that you play your role you know uh, people are looking for leaders that are confident, not just confident, they're creative and are also innovative. And so going forward, uh, confidence plays an important role uh, in communication because uh, you can't give what you don't have. I mean, your confidence comes from a place of knowing. Uh, and so that knowing and you know self-awareness, like I said, helps you to provide the necessary uh, inspiration. And leaders must be able to communicate clearly and effectively. Uh, a confident leader will be persuasive and inspiring. Uh, so if you are not sure, if you are deficient, you know, in terms of what you know, uh, to convince others and to provide the necessary clarity, uh, it might be uh, quite challenging. That's why you see situations where nations and, and national leaders sometimes, they don't get the buying of the people. They are not confident enough in what they, they you know, they, the strategy that they have. So, uh, you know, find a situation where the execution can also be fought. But if you are confident, you can get the buying of others, inspire others, and get them, you know, rally them together. And uh, they would also be able to show up and do above and beyond. So confidence is very, very important, even right now, um, as we speak, and even going forward. You know, it's always so important like I said, it's one of the major KPIs for every leader. And uh, if you're confident, people will be able to connect with you and uh, you'll be able to motivate people to take action uh, regularly, you know, and we need to, you know, uh, same results uh, time and time again. Uh, I just know that, um, I mean, even as uh, leadership talk with Adigo, um, you know, the baby steps that we've taken over the years uh, has led us to 99 podcast now uh, so it's just one shot of 100 and uh, we're confident that we get to the 100 mark and, and even above and beyond uh, so in conclusion uh, confidence for uh, every leader is essential and um, you know for effective leadership uh, you need to be confident i mean we have courses you know um, on udemy.com world-class customers service uh, we have um, selling in crisis we have um, fundamentals of business etiquette and personal grooming um, these are courses that people are buying globally and um, you know we're talking in one of our uh, sessions about leadership and global mobility I mean, for every leader showing up right now is so 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 important and so it comes from an area of intentionally adding value um, we also um, we have a podcast this podcast which is reaching out to nations all over the world and it's the confidence that we have obviously you know confidence also comes from knowing god in a person of faith you know uh, it's about knowing god you know if you know god you'll be able to do exploits and so a lack of confidence uh, like i said can be detrimental to a leader's effectiveness um, and it can lead to followers feeling what inspired so show up this year uh, get get your groove on and uh, keep on showing up uh, touching you know the base 
not just with people but also with yourself learning more getting into uh, those um, kind of environments where you can add value continuously and i just believe that you know as you, as you move along even your team will uh, begin to deliver results there'll be more of execution and uh, not just strategy as uh, as we proceed so i just i, I just said i should jump in real quick and look at leadership and confidence and I, i'm sure that this is also a confidence and morale booster for you to listen and feel free to share this uh, with your followers uh, leadership topic so we looked at leadership and confidence. Uh, please follow us on our social media handles, uh, Instagram, uh, on YouTube, on uh, Facebook, uh, Leadership Talk with Adegoke. Uh, you can type in Adegoke or Motola and you get a lot of, uh, uh, you know, value and nuggets from us. So thank you. And once again, have a great day. This is Leadership Talk with Adegoke. Epic.